So it's time to go to the gym. My whole family's in the gym. My dad and my brother. It's gonna be a group gym sesh. I think the most I've ever chest pressed before was uh, 50 pounds, 50 pound dumbbells. Sorry, no, 45s was the most I've ever done on each on each hand doing a chest press. That was 35. What I just did, 45s was when I was like 18, 18, 19. I'm 26 right now. I gotta get back to that. I gotta beat that. I gotta beat that. I'm gonna beat that. Watch, in a month or two, I'm gonna be at like 50 pound dumbbells chest press each. You heard it here first. All right, I'm gonna try this machine. I don't even know, is this shit gonna hold me or what? Oh, fucking hell. There's a little ab machine here. Oh, all right. Let's fucking see what happens. Oh, whoa, whoa, no chance. Oh, that fucking sucked. Oh, oh, fuck me. Yeah, dude, my back's gonna break on that. Oh, I'm just gonna do the regular crunches for now while I'm still this size. Favorite time of the year and the day. Lunch time. Oh, baby girl. All right. All right, all right, all right. I should have busting. That last vlog where I was eating the eggs. Yeah, drop one. I was, I was slurping it. Nice. There's some crazy ASMR. Yeah. I almost cringed at myself. Time for Dance Friday with my mom here. We're gonna do a Jolly Bee, Jolly Bee dance. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee, baby. I don't know. I don't know. Then yeah, we're gonna set it up right here. With the lights, we have, we have to move all the furniture down here from upstairs because we just got new couches and um, new tables and stuff like that. So I'm just going to set it up over here instead. <laughs> Supplement time. Sometimes I sit here and I watch funny videos from people I think are funny, obviously online. You know, usually like stand-up comedians and stuff like that. Uh, Amir K is one of my favorite comedians by far, to, the, to this day, to this day. I met this guy, end of 2014 or 2015, at a comedy show, he was headlining, k was middling, and someone else was hosting, and that was before I started doing comedy. And I met him at this sh uh, the show because he was doing a meeting read after the show, it was at the theater in Richmond Hill. I remember it was sold out, I think, too, and it was, it was so fun. 
Uh, he's like he's so funny, and me we uh, we met him after the show at the Mean Green. I bought his hat. I still have his hat up, upstairs. It's in my closet. I wear it sometimes, and um, I asked for and he's a humble dude. I asked him for some advice to like for because I was just getting into comedy at the time, stand up comedy and everything, and he's like, "Yo, just just get on stage, man. Just get as much stage time as you can." It was literally the only thing he told me, but. Something so simple like that stuck with me to the, to this day, to this day. And I always think about that. And it's true. It is true. It's all about how, how many reps you get in, whether it's working out or walking or doing comedy, acting, anything you're doing. It's the reps that matters. It's the persistence. It's the consistency over the years of work. Get those 10 hour, 10,000 hours in. And so... I was watching one of his videos today. Actually, it was I was dying. I was actually crying of laughter. Oh um, I actually reposted on my story too. I usually I, I like reposting funny videos on my stories all the time. If I if I fuck with them, like my boy Abbas right here did a funny video on elections and the government and stuff like that. It was really good. Um, obviously my own videos, but this uh, this video right here was killing me. It was a stand. It was a riff that he was doing at the Laugh Factory in um, Hollywood. Dude, he was killing this crowd work for like two minutes straight. Just straight fire. If you want to watch the full video, I don't want to show it all here, but um, it's really funny and it's on the Laugh Factory Hollywood Instagram page, but also on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, I always, I like watching stuff like this when I need inspiration sometimes. Uh, I don't do it often enough. As, as I should, but when I do, I, 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 I make sure I'm, I'm present and I'm actually taking it in and I learn a lot watching other comedians do their thing. It's, it's really fun and it, it definitely sparks more creativity after I do watch other people do their thing. So it's, I think it's highly recommended. If, if you want to get better at your own craft, you got to watch other people doing their thing at, at the same craft. Uh, I think that's the... There's no formula. That's just that's just the way it is. Okay. I love sushi. Anyway, <laughs> you guys remember that the the the, the, the we're cut. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're having a dinner time with the merger. So yeah, totally. That's that's why I figured I could maybe help. You could use Julio. That's for your entire goal. Yeah, we're not gonna spend months supporting Julio. Oh, open right up. <laughs> 